Hello Aries, I am Ulrika, I am Lenormand Normand card reader and today we will do your spiritual philosophical card reading for the month of May. Uh, these cards are more a kind of advisors if there are certain issues in your life, if you are stuck in a certain area of your life, these cards uh, can give you a certain angle, a certain point of view, uh, or they try to guide you in a certain area of your life. Anyway, we will see where it uh, leads here for you, uh, Aries, for the month of May. So uh, Aries, here we go for your spiritual Philosophical card reading for the month of May. Hello, Arius, and uh, welcome to your uh, spiritual philosophical uh, card reading uh, for uh, the month of uh, May. Uh, as your first card here, we see the card of uh, decoration. What does this uh, card tell us? Well, uh, it tells us probably here that... Um, Maybe it's time for the annual cleanup in your house. This is a possibility here. Uh, maybe it's too dark in your house. Maybe uh, you close the curtain always. Maybe it's time to open the curtains here. Uh, it's important to do so. Uh, sometimes also we need to clean up our house, put everything in order. This is what we are seeing here. Um, it's important here that uh, if, if your house is a more on the darker side, that we bring some brightness in the house. If it's a long time since you painted uh, and you don't like the colors anymore and you have the budget, sometimes also uh, it means that uh, maybe it's time for uh, brighten the place up, uh, bring another atmosphere in the house. Uh, maybe uh, if you think about it, you don't really feel at home uh, in the place where you are. But if you make some adjustment, maybe uh, this thing becomes, your house becomes more cheerful um, a festive place and this is what this card asks you uh, bring some new colors sometimes also plants um, can can have a, an, a good influence if you are not the type that uh, is maintaining plants there is always the possibility for cactuses uh, so these are plants also anyway uh, it's important here that uh, we put a bright light in our house it's here like uh, we have a higher spirit we all have a higher spirit and it's uh, we need to respect not only ourselves and our ego, but also our higher uh, spirit. And here it's like something inside ourselves is a little bit off. And we need to treat this uh, higher family, uh, this higher spirit as, a, as a, a member of the royal family. This is what we are seeing here. You are not respectful to your friends. Uh, you are not disrespectful to your, to your family. And here we see also we cannot be disrespectful to our higher spirit. If we have visitors, of course, we treat them well because we know uh, they will not return. Um, so anyway, here we see that... Um, we need to give ourselves a peaceful, uh, nice uh, environment that is brightened and, and we will feel better here with this uh, combination of cards. Um, offer yourself the best, decorate your place and you will see that you become in a better mood. Uh, this card is uh, actually also a very good card for Aries. This is the card of revelation. Some Aries, they like to rebel. A lot of us like to rebel against authorities. Now there's all, a lot of uh, suppression going on for the last two years. A lot of... Um, a lot of things are pushed upon us, even if we like it or not. A lot of laws are contradictive uh, that we are um, that we are confront that we are confronted with in our life, and. Um, here we see that um, that that um, with this card. Um, the only one who is accountable if you want to stay as your as you are is yourself so it's time here with this card you see the authority figure here and this card tells us it's time to let go of certain authorities in your life if you have been suppressed if you have been locked down if you have been in a closed environment this card tells you that it's time to move um there Probably you will be opportunities here in your life. If these opportunities come in your life, maybe it's a, it's a short opportunity that you have. If you have an opportunity for getting out of a difficult situation, apply this because this is what this card tells you. Free yourself from the past, from lockdowns, um, from the years maybe that... that um, that, that you have been in difficult situation. Um, if you were scared before of this disapproval, this card tells you it's time to take another look at this. I'm not saying you need to beat everybody around you, but it's time here that we take a step. Um, we need to get out of this uh, out of this dimension that we are in, and it's time for taking a next step. If certain authority figures for it for you, or in your environment, your boss, 
people around you are very dominant, it's, there's a possibility here with this card, you can, uh, you can have some issues. It means that it's enough. It's enough for your soul, it's enough for yourself, and it's time to move on. We can all, all only swallow as much as possible. Um, anyway, we see here that we cannot also be scared. We, we cannot be scared, we, cannot, we don't need to be necessarily assertive or aggressive, but we just move on, we forgive and we move on. It tells you here that actually these symbols of authorities are just static. If you take the decision, they just disappear. This is what this is about. So I'm not saying here you need to cross the red light, but um, you need to make changes. It's very important here with this card that we do so. Don't be scared. Don't allow these people to suppress you. The only accountability that you have is to your higher self. And you need to have your personal truth. Also, you need to follow your intuition. It's very important with this card that we follow our intuition. Anyway, the question here with this card is what is your own personal truth? What is your own personal path? And you need to listen to yourself if you're calm. And you will see that if you think about it, you actually have no fear when it comes to authority. You're already, even without you done something, you're already past them. So they are only existing in your mind. It's already done. You're done with them. So here, the next card that we are seeing here, uh, we should not take it the wrong way. What does that card uh, mean? Well, it's possible. It could relate a little bit to the other card here that uh, we have swallowed a lot of insults. Um, it's possible that we are on the tip of our toes uh, before here. Um, maybe we were annoyed and, and you think to yourself, how could these authority figures or these people do this? But as I said, these are imaginary things of the past. It's time to move on. It's the same again here. This robs you really of your peace of mind and, and it gives you a false image of who you are. Here we see that our higher mind, it tells us that we need to realize that it has an impact on us. And also we react because we are still in this difficult situation, not the way we normally do and not the way we should. So you already know that it's time but probably you ask yourself, why am I still here? Why is this happening? Why do I attract this situation? Is the lesson not yet finished? Did I not let, uh, yet learn enough? On the astrological front, if I may add this in this, uh, this um, is a period of, for areas for a lot of changes. There are a lot of changes coming in your life um, in, the, in the months to come. These changes will not be always easy but the opportunities are there also. This is what we are seeing here. Also, pay attention here to your experiences. If somebody insults you, don't necessarily go into it. We need to try to be the smart one here of the two. You're already past it. And, and these things are actually no longer important. It's time you move on. You see here, the person, she's moving in the carriage. That's what you should do. Step in the carriage and move on. Don't waste your energy here on these things. It's time to take the next step here, as we saw in the inner card, uh, in the middle card here. Anyway, if you learned lesson, this is fine. You, uh, you absorb these wrestles here. But what is also uh, sometimes appearing with this card is that we doubt ourselves. We doubt ourselves and we doubt if we have certain abilities, but this card tells you, you have the abilities, but of course you need to imp implement them. And if these, if you implement certain things and people disagree with you about you taking certain steps, well, it's not actually your problem. We make choices and the results of the choices will be yours. You will have the consequences. We don't, we only have responsibility towards ourselves. So if these people tell certain things to you, just turn a blind eye uh, with this offensive behavior because it's time for you to move on. We, we, we come in this situation because we don't move. This is what we are seeing here. And you need to rely on your own inner strength. So move on and choose for your inner peace. This is what we are seeing here. Step in the carriage, rebel and move on and uh, brighten your place up. Um, sometimes also 
maybe we need to move more because these are moving cards. So maybe we need to move out of a certain situation physically or mentally. So Aries, this is all for this month. I hope you get a little bit wiser out of this um, spiritual philosophical card reading. If you want more information for the months to come, you can also check out the, the, the classic Lenormand card readings because I saw a lot of similarities there in the Lenormand card readings, but these are more in details, but these are the basics, but in the Lenormand, you will see there's a lot of details for you. Also, we do uh, the financial um, philosophical card readings. Uh, they are then more an approach to your finances. You put the tree together and you have a better view what is in store there for you for the month to come. Anyway, Arius, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for considering subscribing and we see each other next time. Bye bye for now.